it's a place no parent wants to bring their child. Busy emergency department, some waiting hours to see a doctor. But I think it was more to do with a, um, their difficulty in breathing. Is, is he here? And with winter viruses appearing sooner than expected, paediatricians and patients, like those here in Leicester, are seeing the impact of this on the NHS. Normally we peak in November and December, and that's why we get worried in August, September time when we're already full and busy, because we know it's only going to get worse after that point. Hello. <gasps> What's this? Lila had one of those winter viruses in August. She developed a respiratory illness called bronchiolitis. Now she's come in with a wheezy cough. Once they've had bronchiolitis and that they've got some risk factors for having <laughs> asthma, when they get another virus infection, they become a little wheezy. And, and yeah. your daughter's demonstrating a, a perfect wheeze for us. She's a happy baby, um, and she just wasn't herself. Um, so we initially rang 111 for their advice, but as we were speaking to them, uh, she started to get a bit, bit drowsy, uh, a, a bit more, a bit more not like herself. So we decided to bring straight down to the hospital. Lila's parents say she was seen quickly, but it's not the same for all children. Exclusive analysis for ITV News by the Nuffield Trust has shown the additional pressure on A and E departments. Waiting times for babies have been growing. Nearly one in five waited longer than four hours. And the situation isn't much better for older children either. Across all age groups, children are having to wait longer. We've had this um, real challenge with uh, pressure across the NHS that's continued during the summer months, um, which we would normally only expect to see uh, you know, at the worst points of a winter. One of our worries is that the long waits have sort of become normalised, which is going to lead ultimately to, to safety concerns, I think. Experts have told us that children have been overlooked in the debate around emergency waits, and the reasons for it are complex. Like in adult care, there are staffing issues, but paediatricians have also told us that patterns in respiratory viruses and mental health issues are having an impact. Over the last year, 18 months, we are seeing much increased volumes, but also more severe presentations. I think there are challenges with flow because we've got more children with complex needs are, are more complex to treat, so spend longer in hospital. And if you've got more patients spending longer in hospital, there's less bed availability. And that produces crowding in the emergency department itself. Children don't choose to attend an emergency department themselves. They're brought there and actually some adults who are in an emergency department for a long period of time kind of can understand and rationalise that. But, but if you're a young child, you can't, and it's quite distressing. It's already busy in here, and this is just the start of the respiratory virus season. It's why doctors are concerned about what's to come. I think the public have a, a, a really important role to play here. The vast majority of viruses are simple self-limiting illnesses. And as long as they stay hydrated, you don't need to seek any more help. What emergency services are here for is the children who aren't really feeding at all or that you're really worried that their breathing is so laboured that they're not able to walk about or mobilise. It's your first shift here, isn't it? Yeah. Winter is looming and there are concerns about staffing levels becoming further depleted through sickness. There are fears within the health service things may yet get worse.